<laughs> Everyone wanted to know what in the world would they charge Robert Kraft for involving having prostitutes at a party. <laughs> You're about to find out. The link for this article will be in the description. So, Patriots owner Robert Kraft was charged with soliciting prostitution. Now, I know you guys have heard about it. Uh, he was listed, Robert Kraft was listed as a part of a group charged with soliciting prostitution in Florida on Friday. So, Jupiter Police Chief Daniel Kerr announced that Kraft, Robert Kraft, has been formally charged with soliciting another to commit prostitution. Now, if you guys don't know what that means, that means he paid a girl to do perform sexual acts. So, <clears throat> NBC News' Tom Winter says Florida police said they obtained video evidence showing Kraft involved in acts of prostitution during their investigation. Kraft issued a statement through a Patriots spokesperson denying the charges. We categorically deny that Mr. Kraft engaged in any illegal activity because it is a judicial matter. Matter We will not be commenting further. So CBS noted Kraft charges a misdemeanor and a warrant will be issued for his arrest. Now, uh, Robert Kraft charges stem from paying for sexual services at the spa, which Moore and Rogers noted was shut down, along with nine others in Orlando, Palm Beach County, and the Treasure Coast area. After an investigation discovered women were in sexual servitude, Kraft has a residence at a double apartment complex in Palm Beach. The 77-year-old has owned the Patriots since 94. <laughs> Let's be honest. Every rich person in this world has prostitutes. All of them. They're paying these women for sexual favors. Robert Kraft probably been doing this for decades. You know, they're just like, well, if we don't say something about it, people are going to think we're just letting them get by. You know, they probably been letting them get by for years. And it's like, you won the Super Bowl, man. You, He's just on top, on top. They had to slap him on the wrist and be like, slow down. Because some of the women he probably was buying were going to start telling stuff. You know, it's and you go to Las Vegas, Nevada, or Reno. This is just normal. They have the bunny ranch. So prostitution is not even looked at as what they're making it be in the state of Florida. <laughs> Soliciting uh, prostitution. You go out to Vegas or Reno, that is considered having a job. You can go look in the ads and they will show you a variety of escorts. That's what they call them. Yeah, so this is not really... Uh, Something that I'm in awe because I lived in Vegas and I see you see hoes walking up and down the strip all the time and right in front of the cops is illegal for them to prostitute. And that's the thing, the world has to get over that because um you gotta look at this. This is that person's body. Whatever they do with their body is between God and them. You can't make someone do something they don't want to do. Not saying I'm justifying it, I'm you know not with it or against it because who knows what woman hasn't sold her body? Parents have sold their bodies to feed their kids. Uh, it's their body. If you look at the temple, people do a lot wrong to the temple. If you want to just analyze what people do to their bodies, that's really harmful. You know, drinking, doing drugs, <laughs> shoot needles, and uh, they should be taking your ass to jail for that type shit. But they let you kill yourself. <laughs> but you're making a profit off of it. <laughs> like, no, uh, we're not getting no taxes on that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, what do you guys think about Robert Kraft? Yeah, he got caught buying hoes, man. <laughs> Subscribe.